<laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> you know, with dark clouds and lightning and rain and wind and... Oh. None of that? Well, okay. It's still Halloween. <laughs> Good Monday morning. This is your uh, podcast for this October 31st. I, you know, I was just trying to set the mood for the trick-or-treaters out there, but they're going to be quite toasty. Their candy might melt in this heat wave. Yeah, it is crazy, crazy. Uh, here it is, the end of October, and we're still talking about 80-degree temperatures here in southern Kentucky. Good morning, I'm Chris Allen. It is Halloween, October 31st, even though it's not going to feel like it. Uh, looks like we will see a change in this pattern, though, as we get toward the middle and end of the week. Next weekend's going to feel pretty nice. Temperatures will do a reset back to average or more seasonable temperatures for this time of the year. We will throw in a mention of rain by about Thursday, but it's not going to be much, I don't think. <sighs> Come on, December. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's going to be one of those things where we just flip a switch and we go right from kind of a late summer, early fall pattern into a right in the middle of winter. You know, it's happened before. It's probably going to happen again. <coughs> Excuse me. And, of course, it does a number on the sinuses, you know, the nasal passages and everything. So a little cough, a little sneeze, drainage, all that good stuff. Anyway, yesterday for your Sunday at the Bowling Green Airport, we reached a high of 85 officially. That happened at 130 in the afternoon. 66 is where we're supposed to be on average. So that's a 19-degree difference. And we almost made a record. We were only two degrees shy away from the record of 87, set back on 1927. So it was that close. Looks like it could be close again today. Probably tomorrow we'll either tie or break a record high if we hit uh, what we think we're going to hit. 56 was our low, 42 is the average. That's a 14-degree difference. One year ago, we had a high of 61 and a low of 35. Back in 2015, we're still holding at just 56 hundredths of an inch of rain for the entire month of October. That puts us behind by almost two and three-quarter inches. We are uh, abnormally dry uh, here in southern Kentucky, as you might know, high fire danger continues. Do not burn anything outdoors for a long time. Okay? It's just too risky. Partly sunny, warm today for this Halloween 2016. A high of 82 and a south wind at 4. That 82 degrees is uh, about 4. Five degrees, no, yeah, five degrees away from the record of 87 set back in 1922. Partly cloudy, mild tonight with a low of 62 for the trick-or-treaters. Uh, about the time they go out late this afternoon, early this evening, temperatures will be mainly in the 70s to possibly the low 80s. So that's what I mentioned, the trick-or-treaters uh, make sure their candy doesn't melt. <laughs> My goodness. Then for tomorrow, Tuesday, the first day of November, record-breaking temperatures, quite possible. We're calling for sunny skies, breezy, quite warm, a high of 86. If we hit that 86 tomorrow, that would break the old record of 83 set back in 2000 by 3 degrees. So we'll see what happens. Wednesday, mostly sunny, 84. And then a cold front finally makes its way through the area on Thursday. We're going to put in a 40% chance of showers, maybe a thunderstorm, a high at 74. 
10 degrees cooler than Wednesday. And then we drop back into the 40s for overnight lows beginning Thursday night. After that, this next weekend, coming weekend, looks great. The first weekend of November. We're talking sunshine, a high of 68 on Friday. That's where we should be. 68, a low of 44 Friday night. Sunny and 71 on Sunday. Sunny and 73 on Sunday. Now that's more like it. If it's now, the big question is, will it stay there? Or are we going to go back into the 80s? I don't, you know, I just don't know anymore. I don't. I really don't. I'm not going to say because every time I say, well, we might be done, it, it proves me wrong. So I'm not even going to say it. I'm just, we're just wait and see what happens. These, the models overall have been doing a terrible job with keeping up with this uh, heat. Uh, we do see major signs of change once we get deeper into November. But, you know, I'm just hoping that that it uh, that we, we, go, we do get some cooler air. More importantly, I can deal with a little bit of warm air as long as we get some rain. We really, really need some rain. So we'll just uh, have to hang in there until uh, things begin to change. But it will. You know it will. All right, that'll do it for this edition of the podcast. God bless as always, and thank you so much for listening. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day and a safe and happy Halloween with all the trick-or-treaters, your kids, and grandkids, and friends. Uh, later to the, later this morning, I'll be uh, live on midday or a.m. Kentucky first at 5.30, then midday at 11. Then later today, join me for my radio show. I'll be playing some classic Halloween songs on my radio show this afternoon from 3 to 7 on Sam 100.7. Have a great day.